You know, in Florida, you get the tap down as much as you can. You're always scooting around town just like this. The, when you park, try to seek shade. If you don't, you're out in the open. Those seats get hot. Now, the seats I have on here are in perfect condition. They're like brand new, but they're black. <laughs> that black leather upholstery. And man, they get hot. Well, I found the answer, I believe, and that's why the sheepskin uh, seat covers are so popular. You can get them uh, at Moss or Victoria British, either place is around uh, maybe $50 to $60 a, pair, uh, a piece, and you've got to get a pair of them, of course. They have the car look like anything. Well, uh, I've got another option. Well, I found these seat covers here at uh, Advance Auto. And uh, they cost, I think, $47.99 each. Now, the difficulty is, is the, uh, the brand of them, uh, I don't think they have the best factory control. And uh, I suggest that when you go to buy them, you go right to the store. I would not order them through the Internet or uh, online. I would go to the store and make darn sure I opened two packages and compared them. There is a flaw in that sometimes the dye or whatever they put in the sheepskin uh, changes colors. You can maybe see a little tinge of yellow on my passenger side is just a little brighter than my driver's side uh, in the center area there. Now maybe if I posture it in the sun a couple of days it'll uh, take care of that and weather it out or not. I, I don't know the answer to that, but but I was very careful to open two different boxes. I went to three different advanced auto stores and compared them until I found two seat covers that matched the best I could get. Now, when you put them on, I'll show you a picture up there where, where the straps are. The straps extend underneath the bottom and they go, you can get, you run the front ones across to hold it taut and, and the, the front ones way in front go all the way back the front ones on the side go across, and the back ones on the side, I did kind of angle it back. But you got to fiddle with where you, where you stretch the elastics to and how you hook them to get it to conform the best it can to the seat. The point I want to make is, this is the second set that I put on MGBs, and they fit beautifully. They really do fit nice. You know, sometimes you're hesitant to buy it. Uh, something from the store like a like an auto zone or, or advanced because you don't know if it's going to fit the sports car Our seats are kind of small, but look at how they dress up and how they fit. look at that they, they, You know they fit that headrest you, you got to have the headrest on to get the height here And when you put that before you put the seat cover on I take the headrest stem You know that metal stem that's right in the middle I wrapped it with a piece of uh, foam stripping and then put a pipe uh, clamp around it. You know, just a small little pipe clamp like your radiator clamp is. And drew that up on the foam to hold the headrest high. Get a hold of that headrest and pop it up. Pop it up so that it's up here creating a nice snug fit. You may have to put the thing on a couple times to find out just exactly how high you want it. I got mine almost all the way up. Then I put the... Uh, Put the foam on to give it some body so it won't slip back down and then wrap the foam with a, like I say, a hose clamp. Just draw it in. You don't have to, you don't have to drive it home. Just draw it in so the thing won't slip down in there again so it'll stay level. Hell, I put a piece of lumber across the two and I had a, I had a level on there and I made darn sure. I want people behind me to look at that and, and not be surprised that one seat's high, one seat's low. Now, when you put them on, uh, you're going to sacrifice that little lever in the center that lets the uh, lets the uh, uh, backrest uh, adjust. I got my hand on it right now. You can you can get a hold of it and flip it and move it and adjust your backrest back and forth with no problem. It's just that it's buried underneath the seat cover, but that doesn't that doesn't matter at all. Uh, you got seat belts, kind of hard to get the seat belts uh, in postured correctly. Sometimes it's easier to flip the whole seat back forward and then arrange these exactly where they're supposed to be and then flip your seat back. Now, that lever is exposed. The seat cover, here it is down here on the driver's side. There you go. See how I, I tuck the seat cover back on the, on the inside of it. So I, I can always get at this lever, flip it, and tip the whole seat back. That's nice to be able to do if you're going to work on your battery box or, or you got to do something in the back. Uh, I mounted uh, uh, speakers back in there. Uh, you want some accessibility. It's nice to have the seat fold forward. It's nice that the, 
that the seat cover uh, misses this, this lever and yet encloses the other. So why I made this report with the seat covers was to assure you you can go to a local store and buy a set uh, economically and put them on knowing that they are going to fit. You may, you may have to do the, what I said, uh, pull the headrest up and secure it somehow so it doesn't collapse again. Uh, you're going to be covering your, uh, your adjusting lever for the backrest. That's not a big deal. The lever is exposed that lets the backrest tip fully forward. That you want to have convenient, and, and it is. So, and the same thing with the, with the bar, with the adjusting bar in front. It has no effect on that. It's easy to reach and slide the seats back and forth. But I'll warn you, when you put those seat covers on and you take those elastics and you're underneath the, the driver's side, be careful with your hand and how you slip those elastic pieces underneath there. Because if you inadvertently touch that spring or that adjusting lever, that little that spring that goes right across to the bottom of the seat, that'll pop off. And it's a son of a gun to get back on. <laughs> you know, so I warn you. You do it two or three times and you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> well, I think I've told you enough about the seat cover.